very short break, so it's not really a huge issue. Odrin, let's go. Let's go, eh? Dragonfall. You exit the clean room to find yourself at the threshold of a vast underground chamber. If the un abandoned facility that you just fought through was purgatory, then you what you now stand before is the gateway to hell. The heat emanating from a head hits you like a hammer. The smell of sulfur and ozone is enough to make your lunch want to find somewhere else to hide. Above the noise created by the whir of turbines, you can hear the deep rumble of something feral waking up. Something very, very big. You check your weapons and step into the vast chamber. Oh god, we can hear breathing. Like really rapid breathing. The smell of sulfur and ozone fills... Well, yeah, I know that already. Despite the whir of several high output oxes fit, he's tremendous, you and... You hear the loud click followed by the squeal of audio feedback, then Adrian Fauclair's voice booms over the loudspeakers. I don't know how you escaped the laboratory, but please, stop. I must complete the virus infusion process. I must release her. Our future as a species depends on it. Dr. Beauclair, I think your obsession with dragons has progressed to the point where you no longer are in control of your actions. I must admit that I have thought the very thing in my weaker hours. In the morning, as my dreams recede and consciousness thought returns. In that great state, I have lain in my bed alone and wrestled with the thought. But at the end of the day, I am in hand of action, and I have always been so. But the businessmen and politicians deliberate in their boardrooms and committees. I have done what needed to be done. And now here I am, executing the greatest act of service I can conceive of. The salvation of humanity itself. The time for discussion is over. I am done debating with you. Pause is puzzled. Still, I must understand. How you escape from the test lab? A thought comes to him. His tired eyes glitter in triumph. Uh, I think he's... Well, I... Uh, I'm thinking his animation was originally supposed to be clo closer to the... Uh, to the computer. It was her, wasn't it? There, Swinger. It must be. You made some sort of deal. She helped you escape, and in return, you will help her rejoin her dragon body. Fishfinger sure showed me. Uh, I didn't agree to anything. But did she promise you? Gold? Jewels? Eternal life? She offered them to me as well, for decades. It doesn't matter now. The infusion process has begun. The dragon is waking up. Soon she will take fright. But you will not be alive to witness that. Odrin, ensure that they don't. Well, motherfucker. Oh. Oh, I see how it be. Fuck is Aldrin.
Who is what? Oh, what? Huh? What? What is going on? Who? who what? Mercs? What? What? Huh? What? I don't understand what's going on. Okay, we need to get our Decker over here. Jack the fuck in, motherfucker. He's got a nervous tick. Leave him alone. Poor Dr. Book there. Won't somebody please think of the children? Where am I getting random reinforcements from? Ah, some black ice, eh? Let them come a little. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Find it weird that the dragon noises are still going on in the Matrix, because normally the music changes. Attack program here. And okay. Heal. Where's the assassin? Okay, let's let's move the assassin program out here. Fuck! Missed. Okay. Um let's get rid of this thing. My assassin program. That's not good. Why did you guys suddenly turn on me? I don't understand what's going on.
There goes my assassination program. Oh, that's not good! Okay, let's get this thing jumping. Get the fuck back out. Harder to hit. And, um, I guess heal him. Thought that might happen, but whatever. Go after Audra now. Your target is Fuckface. And yes, he's still moving his hands, I do see. He's got some sort of shield up or something. Another one over here somewhere? Haste. 
Why is that doing that? Oh, he can't see glory from where he's at. Okay. Vent A is now unlocked for manual venting. The virus infusion process will automatically reinitialize with emergency venting. Good, the distraction works. I don't know if I'm going to regret doing that or not, but we'll see. Damn! I didn't think that would work. I didn't mean to hurt myself. So that's a thing. Yeah, that was a bad choice, make, choosing those two. Glory. Move here. Do that. Then use that on myself. Diedrich, heal yourself.
Okay. Do this again. Get rid of his armor. Let's use this. You know, setting us on fire is not conducive to us letting you go. Why can't I see that? Why isn't it an option? Not- I'm kind of having a little mini- what- what- We seriously boned by like one turn. Oh good, good, we stopped it, it went down. Shit. Once again, a transplast window separates you from Adrian Vauclair, but this time his steadfast will is gone. He stands motionless, hands at his sides, eyes dead, spent. 
The strength that drove him, the steely resolve that couldn't be shaken by sickness, or time, or age, is gone. It's theirs now. The world. All theirs. Doesn't have to be this way, Doctor. You can still make a scent. I am old. Dying. My blood betrayed me long ago when I left the radiation of the socks. The worms will continue their machinations, consolidate their power, exact their tribute, and humanity. They are no more than treasure to them. Favor bottles to be collected, items to be traded, resources to be spent or hoarded. He sweeps his eyes across the carnage that his life's it was his life's work until they come to rest on the dragon. He grits his teeth. Forty-two years. Forty-two years and we finally had our chance to make a difference. And you destroyed it. I gave everything I had. Everything I loved. I am sorry. Oh shit, dicks. Well, that went about as expected. Optional. Free fair swinger. Optional. Transfer control of fair swinger to Apex. I don't know. Do I do nothing? Oh, man. Fox is not going to free fish, Winger. The question is... Fox does not want to be... We're leaving. Set the facility to self-destruct. You're about to tap your finger on the key. You found... Feel a hand clasp on your shoulder. Hang on. Did it leave Fairswinger? Both the dragon and the woman to burn to death. It serves her right. Base construction commencing. System offline. You punch the button. Alarm klaxons blare. An ominous rumbling fills the air and the walls start to shake. That settles that. Come on, boss. Let's get the hell out of here. Right behind you. Well, now I have went against what a powerful AI wanted, but it can kill me if it wants to. You're about to... You step out of the van, climbing down into the tunnel leading back to your safe house. Just hours ago, you saved Berlin from fire and ash, from the would-be sacrifice of Dr. Adrian Vauclair. It feels so strange now, returning in secret, in silence. The other residents of the Kreutz Bazaar go about their business, unaware of what almost happened here tonight. It's finally over. Your team and your Kies are once again safe. Oh, that sucked! The team is waiting when you walk in. Their faces are haggard, their shoulders slumped. Was there a point to it, old fox? We lost Paul, lost Monica, the Kurtz Bazaar, so many people dead. It was just supposed to be a simple job, remember? A milk run. Get into the estate, snatch some data, and get home in time for farm talk. On the trade. You've had enough worm talk for one lifetime. You've got that right. 
if I never have to talk to another dragon again, it'll be so too, too soon. This whole thing has been a nightmare from the beginning. The idea of dragons taking over the world, the thought of them slowly hoarding everything, it's too big to think about. We're street level, we run the shadows. That's it. Worry about these sort of issues is well beyond our pay grade. That's what they want. That's what they need. The corpse. The dragons. The politicians. I don't know why Gloria is French or of it's on. Everyone. We will end like this. They want us to think that we can't make a difference. I'm, ha I'm having Zvoclair's accent seep into glory. And it's... I need to practice my accents more. But you get to, pra you get to witness me practice them live. Make an ass of myself. They put, e they put effort. No. They put effort and a lot of effort into making us feel small, insignificant. But they're not. We had the power in our hands today. We had a choice and we made it. And because of that, the world is different. For good or for ill. That's right, for good or for ill. We can't see the future. I don't think that anyone can. But the world is different now, and we're the ones who changed it. So, that way, you know, that we win. Can't win in this business, just survive. You watch the team take this in. Iger nodding, agreement. Glory staring ahead, lost in thought. Diedrich frowning, eyeing the floor. Blitz fiddling with his deck and pretending not to understand. Iger breaks the silence. So what now? Monica's gone. Paul's gone. Do we keep running together? Or is this the end of the road? I'm afraid I'm out. For a while, at least. I have some personal business to attend to. There's a man I need to find. A vicious, repulsive monster who needs to be brought to justice. Fox knows who I'm talking about. I may be gone for a long time. For the time being, you should write me off. Maybe find someone to fill my shoes. But this place is my home, and you people are my family. I promise you, when the job is done, I will come back to the Crits Bazaar. I hope that you will still have me. If you need anything, you know where to come. Understood. See you around. I'll miss you, love. Be safe. Well, I'm in. I'm getting kind of old for a shadow runner, but I'd rather die in the shadows than live like people live. I don't. I don't know. I thought I had, some, I had something going on there. Whatever. The point is, I'm in. That was beautiful, man. I return to you. So, Fox. You're gonna stick around the courts beside and keep running into the shadows with me? You've done a hell of a job, and I'd be happy to follow your lead. We're done with that fearless leader crap? All done, Fox. Like I said, you lead, I follow. What about you, Blitz? Oh, I'm definitely in. Totally. Saying dragons? Assholes with enormous machine guns? Devil dogs that'll hump your leg when no one's looking? This is the place for me, no question about it. How could I say no? Seals it. If Blitz is in, how can we lose? Exactly! I guess snorts, snorts, snorts a laugh, and then she's back to business. Before I forget, the Turkish guy sent one of his street rats over before you got here. Said he wants to talk to you about something. Thanks. On my way to the Kurtz Bazaar. I'll stop by the coffee shop on my way. Lori looks up from her preparations at the sound of your approach. She offers you a slight smile. Fox, you've got us through the net alive. Well done. You're off running to find Shahara, I take it? That's right. He's gotten, already gotten enough of a head start on me. Wherever he's gone to, it'll only get worse the longer I wait. So I'm headed out after him and I'm leaving him tonight. That's all. So I'll pack a bag. Where should we start looking? We shouldn't. Wait, what? I will track down Harrow. Myself in the spirit that's bound to me, but, but as for you, I can't have you coming with me, Fox. Not this time. The place is here. With all due respect, Laurie, I'm the leader of this team, and I'm the one who decides whether or not I can spare the time to help you or not. You just said it yourself. You lead this team. As they look to you for guidance and leadership and employment. You're the one who puts food on their tables. You have a responsibility to them. They need you more than I do. 
Tracking Hera down isn't going to be quick or easy. It could take years. You, my friend, are a victim of your own success. You've become too important to this team, to the Kurtz Bazaar, to up and disappear. The heart of Fair Stella and I share a common goal and a common responsibility. We have to deal with Harrow. It's on us to stop him. But you, Fox, your responsibilities are here, and I can't let, can't let you walk away from that. She nods. I'm glad we agree, Fox. I knew that you choose to do the right thing. So we will see you again after you dealt with Hera? You can bet on it. You haven't seen the last of me, Fox. That's a promise. I can't say how long it'll take, but I will come back to the Quartz Bazaar and to this team. We'll be waiting. Thanks, Fox. For everything. I was really tempted to have Fox do the completely selfish thing. And go with glory. Like, inches away. Millimeters away. This was just not more. Behold the Dragon Slayer! He has such a different... Do not mock the elf, Algernon half dream. But nor should you praise her either. For good or ill, the cycle of a great worm has ended. Never again will she walk upon the earth, nor soar above the mountains. This day is full of portent. What do you know about the dragon? A <laughs> friend! When a dragon falls, the sand resonates across time and space. The death of a great worm is of interest to a multitude of beings, and Algernon half dream is among their circle. There will be a reckoning. Are you in trouble? Not this you, and not today. Within three cycles, what the world has lost, it shall rue. But the ice storm will come, and the codex will be broken, and woe to the dancer. This I prophesy. Algernon stares at her, lost in thought. Finally he speaks. <laughs> We must be going soon. Where are you going? Machu Picchu is in South Africa. A business there, and uh, it has become urgent. It is not urgent until tomorrow, Half Dream. You have time to pack up your wares. There is more to that than, to it than that woman, and you know it. Goodbye, Fox. We will meet again, I think. Though not for a long time. Hey, I'll tug. Ah, oh, how very prosper it is. But propitorous. I can't talk. It is it, it's great that we can speak again, oh, mistress of man. I have a proposal for you. And that you can prove most lucrative to both of us in them. Most lucrative. Fortune will certainly smile upon the blessed partnership if only you accept. I'm listening, O master of hyperbole. With the passing of Herr Amsel, may God bestow his mercy upon him, you find yourself without a fixer. I wish to offer my services to you in this regard. You will find that Altog Burgazi is a most connected and business savvy partner. Sounds like a business match made in heaven. I have already found a potential client, O blessed one. A most prosperous one with deep pockets. He is eager to meet you. When you are ready, take the U-Bahn to Brandenburger Tor, and he will find you there. Brandenburger Tor. Got it. As soon as I finish up here, I'll go meet him. Are we doing another run? Well, I mean, like, this is the end of the story. Does this, maybe this maybe it just ends with another run. Your PDA buzzes. An incoming calm. Sender unknown. All too familiar face appears on the screen. She's frowning with an incredible look of sorrow in her eyes. Oh, Ace, you made a terrible, terrible mistake. Nothing should have the kind of power you're asking for. I had to do what I did. No, Ace, you didn't. You chose to do what you did. 
Just as you chose to free me. I'm not afraid of you. The Monica in in muscles begin to contort and stretch. Her mouth twists into a rictus grin. You really should. The calm cuts off and the PDA screen goes black. Well, that was probably a mistake. But, uh... Mm, fuck that shit. Are we actually going on another mission? That would be so weird. Or are we just doing Fade to Black? What the... The train car is empty except for the man in an immaculate tailored Italian suit. You notice him watching you for several minutes while you tr the train rumbles towards Brandenburger Tor. Finally, he speaks. The stranger's words come out slowly in a deep and melodious tone. This is easy to hear despite the noise of the train. He takes his time accentuating each word, relishing each vowel and each consonant, and tasting them as if they were a delicacy. Hello. I assume that the business with Dr. Vauclair is concluded, yes? I him and remain silent. The man inclines his head slightly in introduction. Hans Brackerhaus, I represent an interested party, someone who wishes to know about your encounter with Dr. Vauclair. Does this interested party understand the information? Is it? My employer also wishes to hear about the Lady Fairswinger, a fascinating creature. So unlike her brothers and sisters. It is a pity that she passed from this world. She was a magnificent creature, and the world is diminished by her passing. I'm sure you would agree. Dragons are no different from everyone else. There are those who take and those get taken. A dragon is just another taker. Just another taker? Interesting. Dragons take, that is undeniable. But they cannot be considered just another taker, as you put it. They are the ultimate takers. It is their reason for existence. The great dragons are very old and very powerful and very, very cunning. A cunning unknowable to you. You look at a moth and barely perceive sentience. You glance its way amused as it flutters towards a bright light in a vain attempt to... To what? To enter? To draw strength? To burn? It doesn't know. Its epic struggle is barely one hundredth of your lifespan. The sum total of its existence is nothing against the vast scale of your struggles. Your hopes and your dreams, which it could not fathom in a thousand thousand years. I'm an elf. Don't like elves like live forever. He leans forward. You will live and die between the beats of a dragon's heart, my friend. What hope do you have of understanding them? She was insane. Perhaps you would be too. You saw the world through her eyes. My lady Fairswinger was a nurturer, a caregiver rare among her kind. Where her brothers and sisters saw the world as a prize to be won, she saw it as a garden to be tended. Can you imagine? For world upon world, the great dragon Fairswinger brought wisdom and succor to countless souls, and she was loved for it, exalted, a goddess. When she awoke from her slumber in 2012, she saw what the world had become, what meta -hid humanity had done to the garden she had tended for great ages. She struck, struck with the rage, regret, frustration, and anguish of a mother whose children had played with fire and burned the house down, killing themselves in the blaze. She unleashed fire and death through her tears, and now she is gone. The sixth world was her last. Seem to know a lot about dragons, Hans. Think your employer wants to tell me anything about this? I'm sure of it. We consider this conversation an 
employment interview for a very influential client, one who will pay extraordinarily well. Now listen. The man removes his hands from his knees, folds them on his lap. I'll tell you all of this so you have context, perspective, before I ask you the next question, Shadowrunner. If Dr. Vauclair's weapon had not required Dragonfire, if it had been capable of destroying every dragon on Earth without touching a hair on metahumanity's head, would you have used it? No. My dear an entire species is wrong. Monochromatic thinking that I appreciate a career criminal's tempted morality. Of course you feel that wiping out a species is wrong. The feeling is subtle, but ingrained it's an ingrained defense mechanism that should be cherished. One day it may be metahumanity poised for extermination. Well, on to the business at hand. My employer wishes to secure your team's services for a series of operations that will likely require the remainder of 2054. Who is this mysterious employer? It's no mystery. He'll be working for the Great Dragon Loftware. Perhaps you've heard of him? And what thinks, makes you think I'm going to deal with a dragon? Because you already have been working for him for some time now, my name. Or did you think that Green Winters found the Heartfelt Banner on his own? Say nothing. The rattle of the wheel on track gives way to a shimming screech. Gradually, the train begins to slow. Ah, this is my stop. Coming? I've got nowhere else I need to be. The train comes to a halt and the doors open. Brockhouse stands, brushes off his Italian suit, and exits without another word. As you turn to follow, your eye catches an advertisement for worm talk above the subway car door. Brockhouse glances back at you off on the platform, the light of the car reflecting yellow in his gaze. You step out of the subway car and follow him up the stairs into the Berlin night, into the shadows. Berlin Newsfax contains just one report of a large-scale explosion in the countryside of East Berlin. An abandoned castle is reportedly consumed by a massive fireball that shakes the countryside and leaves a crater 60 feet deep. A natural gas leak is suspected, and the location is soon cordoned off by unidentified corporate forces. This news is eclipsed when Sater Krupp announces its acquisition of Ariane Space, the last remaining arm of the European Space Program. The Flux State's anarchist rule remains until 2055, when joint corporate forces acting with the support of the German government invade the city. It's widely known that the great dragon Luftwehr is responsible for orchestrating this action. After weeks of fighting, the surviving anarchists are forced to retreat to the eastern part of the city. A truce is signed in 2060, and Berlin is again divided by a wall. The great dragon, Dunkelzahn, is elected president of the United Canadian and American States in 2057. He is promptly assassinated as he leaves an inauguration party at the Watergate Hotel, while in human form. Popular opinion is that another great dragon is responsible, as only a dragon can kill a dragon. But those in the shadows hint that a pact of powerful blood magic is the cause. Memories of Fishwing and the Dragonfall fade into obscurity, replaced by the media's fascination with the dating habits of the latest Simpsons stars. The name of Adrian Vauclair has since been lost to the shadows. Wow, that was really good timing. Um, yeah. Because, like... We are right on where we want to be for the uh, the stream to end. So I'm going to click that little fast forward gajig. Sorry, oh great many people at Harebrained Schemes. You made an excellent game. I heavily enjoyed it. But I would like to get to the end of the credits. Kickstarter backers. Do, 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 do. Wow, that's a lot of people. Like, a lot of people. And I'm not surprised. Can I make this go faster? No. 
So, I'll let this run out, and we'll talk about what we're playing next. Uh, so, we are going to be playing Dishonored on Thursday, I believe. I don't have it set up yet, but I can't imagine it's going to be too bad. So that's going to be our new action title, and that'll be on Thursday, and maybe on Saturday. This weekend might be a bust. There'll be a Sunday stream, but it'll be a shorter one. Um, and there is going to be a uh, Saturday stream, maybe. It depends on if I need to go out of town or not, and I haven't found out about that yet. Is that just, like, is this just repeating? Um, but when we get back to the story streams, which will be Sunday, we are going to start Final Fantasy VI. Wow, why, like... Is it just like listing different backer levels? Is that what it's doing? I saw it change. Does it just have a section for the D's? No? I don't know what's doing. Alright, well, I don't want to. I want to make sure I go to the end of this just in case there's a scene. Um, so, we will be doing Dishonored on. Uh, On Thursday for sure that is a definite uh, thing unless I have some technical issues with it um, but I can't imagine having technical issues with it but we will see uh, do, 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 do. if uh, well, that was a lot of anonymous um, if we do have technical issues with it then I will likely pull something out of the Super Nintendo catalog and we'll play that um, because I've got a good number of action titles for the Super Nintendo, so I'm sure I can figure out something to goof around with for two hours. Um, actually, no. Here's what we're going to do. If I can't get Dishonored working, we are going to play more Fingered. Um, because I definitely think we could fill two hours of Fingered. And I am really questioning my... Uh, my wanting to go through this whole thing. I'm definitely, like, when this goes to, uh... Wow, a lot of people back to this fucking thing. Like, wow. I think we're almost at the end now, though. I'm at least going to the end of the alphabet, because we're in the T's. And we start over again? Okay. And we're done. I'm sorry, I can't keep waiting. I only have so much patience. So, uh, that was Shadow... Going back to the menu? So that was Shadowrun Dragonfall. Um, excellent, excellent tactical RPG in set in the Shadowrun universe. Um, in the vein of kind of like the old, the old uh, computer RPGs, all at Baldur's Gate, but with a bit more squad-based like square shit going on. Um, so yeah, definitely check it out. I think it's a very good game. I kind of want to put my thoughts together about the whole thing. Maybe do a video about that. We'll see how uh, how ambitious I get. Um, but, like I said, we will be back on Thursday. And we'll be either playing Dishonored, if I can get everything set up. And if not, we will be playing Fingered. Um, name is Potato Fishy. You can follow me all around the internet. Um, Potato Fishy, Potato underscore Fishy, all those places. If you're liking what you see, give me a follow or sub, whichever place you are watching this, because you could be watching it on Twitch or YouTube. And now I'm going into way too much information, and you're smarter than that. So have some VGM, and I'll see you on Thursday.